As a screenwriter and, and as an audience member, I'm always drawn to stories that we think we know. And I thought I knew a lot about the Lincoln assassination, or uh, and what many people think about the Lincoln assassination, which is that John Wilkes Booth shot Lincoln and killed him in Ford's theater. But Booth's murder of President Abraham Lincoln is only part of the story. The rest is a hastily designed plan involving Southern sympathizers, abandoned kidnappings, wartime trials, and an attempt to decapitate the Union government just days after the end of the Civil War. And then I learned that hundreds were rounded up. I didn't know that. Uh, and that there was a trial of assassins. I didn't know that either, including one woman named Mary Surratt, who was one of the eight that they tried. While Solomon's The Conspirator centers on Surratt's arrest, it's the film's opening scenes that show just how deep the conspiracy went. What was the obje object of the conspiracy? It was essentially to accomplish what the Confederacy had failed to accomplish on the battlefield, and that was to win the war. Booth's first plan was to kidnap Lincoln and hold him for ransom in exchange for Confederate POWs. Among those he recruited was John Surratt, Mary Surratt's son. When that plan failed, he and his co-conspirators decided to not only assassinate Lincoln, but also Vice President Andrew Johnson, Secretary of State William Seward, and Union General Ulysses S. Grant. It was a desperate act, um, an opportunity uh, seized upon by Booth that Lincoln was going to appear at the theater, and in fact, originally he was supposed to be at the theater with uh, Grant. But Grant's wife and Mrs. Lincoln were not on friendly terms, so the general declined the invitation. Vice President Johnson's would-be assassin, a German carriage maker and Confederate smuggler named George Atzerott, first got drunk, then got cold feet. He abandoned the plan. Meanwhile, Seward was stabbed multiple times by Lewis Powell, but none of the wounds were life-threatening, and he survived. So while Booth had killed Lincoln, the greater plot had failed. The question is, did Mary Surratt participate in that conspiracy or not? In the turmoil after that unprecedented event, dozens of suspects were rounded up and thrown into jail, including anyone who might have had contact with Booth. That included Mary Surratt, whose boarding house in Washington, D.C. was often visited by Booth. Ultimately, eight suspects were tried before a military tribunal, but critics argue that the individuals should have been tried in civilian courts. Washington is all of 90 miles from the capital of the Confederacy. Abraham Lincoln was assassinated five days after Lee surrenders to Grant. So there is a great deal of uncertainty at that time. The issues of safety and security and civil liberties were very resonant issues in 1865. After a seven-week trial, Surratt, Atzerott, Powell, and David Harold, who had escaped into Virginia with Booth, were found guilty and sentenced to death. They were hanged on July 7, 1865. Surratt was the first woman sentenced to death by the U.S. government. Historians today still debate the extent of her involvement in the conspiracy. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.